words can read. Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome to another video. And in today's video, I am bringing you my August TBR. At the present time, it's actually the 30th of July and the Booktubeathon starts today. So I'm not going to include my Booktubeathon TBR because I did do a separate video on that. But I will link that down below in the description if you'd like to see what books I'm reading for the Booktubeathon, which is going to be sort of like the end of July and goes towards like the beginning of the month. So it does kind of go into the August TBR, but I'm not going to mention those books in this TBR. So as always with my TBRs as of late, they're going to look quite optimistic and quite big and adventurous. However, that's just the way that I like to do them. I pick and choose from this vast amount of books for the month. And that way I'm just not stressing myself out. So as always, I'm going to begin with the books that I'm currently in the middle of reading. So the first of which is All These Beautiful Strangers by Elizabeth Clayforth. I'm currently on page 179, so I'm this far through. It's meant to be the young adult thriller of the month. I'm kind of listening to it on audiobook as well as reading it at the same time. And it's very shallow paced, that's all I can say about it. Because you're learning about the characters, about their past, about their parents' past and things like that. And I like this. So I'm intrigued and all we know is just that the mother has left and nobody knows where the mother has gone. Um, so yes, intrigued to see how it goes. The next one I'm currently reading is Summer at Hope Meadows by Lucy Daniels. I am on page 95 of this one, so I'm not that far into it, I'm about here. And this is basically the adult version of the Animal Arc series. <laughs> But I'm actually enjoying it and it does flick back to some memories from the Animal Art series so I'm glad that I have read some of the Animal Art books because she's just like, oh remember when this happened, remember when this happened in this book and I'm just like, oh crap. So yeah, definitely really really enjoying that book. And then I am in the middle of When Dimple Met Rishi by Sanja Men and I haven't touched this book in a couple of weeks because of readathons. So uh, at the moment I'm on page 215 this book but I'm past the halfway mark of this so that's good um, and it would be good to further get this book read and off my current reading list. The last book that I'm currently in the middle of reading is Badgers in the Basement by Lucy Daniels which is book number 6 in the Animal Arc series. I'm on page 65 at the moment. This will be an easy read, I could easily finish this in a day. So, <laughs> yes. Um, so those are the few books that I'm currently in the middle of reading. Now I'm going to move on fully to my August TV. So out of my monthly recommendation jar, I pulled out a book which I own as an ebook, And this is American Street by Ibi Zaboy. So basically in my monthly recommendations bar, if you don't know, I basically wrote on bits of paper, a bit like a TBR jar, of everybody's top books of the year last year. So if somebody did a top five books of the year, top ten books of the year, I put all the suggestions into a bowl. So I'm reading everybody's top and favourite books of last year and I'm just pulling one out each month. And so this is one that I think a couple of people actually had on their top lists. So I think it's going to be an interesting read if I do get around to reading it and I'm looking forward to it. So my viewers choice books which I still haven't got around to reading to which is also why I haven't done a viewers choice for August because July has just been busy for me especially the end of July and that is I Don't Happily Ever After by Stephanie Perkins as well as Leah on the Offbeat by Becky Ortali. Now Isla I've actually got on my booktube before at TBR so that would be awesome if I can get that read during the readathon. But Leah on the Offbeat I'm pushing forward onto my August TBR. Two books that are off of my summer TBR is Save the Date by Morgan Matson and Autobiography by Christina Lauren. So I'm putting these onto my August TBR. Two review books that I'm putting on my August TBR is Jinxed by Amy McCullough who is the author of The Potion Diaries. This book actually releases on the 9th of August. 
and Awakened by James S. Murray with Darren Wearmouth. This is a sort of thriller kind of book. I'm really in the mood for my thrillers at the moment, so I'm really excited for these two. So out of my TBR jar challenge jar, I pulled out a book with non-human characters. So I actually put this towards Jinxed by Amy McCullough because in this we have these sort of like robotic creatures. So I thought this would be perfect to go towards this book. Then we've got my four challenges for the 52 week challenge TBR jar. So I pulled out four challenges. The first challenge is a cover by. So for this one I put The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender by Les Lyle Walton. And this has been on my TBR for a while as well. The next challenge was a celebrity memoir. So for this one I put a recent book purchase of mine which is The Vet by Luke Gamble, my world and wonderful friends. So he has appeared on TV, so obviously he's a celebrity, and this would just be a really, really great memoir, I think, to put on for this month's TBR. Next challenge is a book about mental health, which I put towards Queens of Geek by Jen Wilde. And this book is also on my Bitchubathon at TBR, so that would be perfect to get that read as well. And the last challenge is to pick a book off of your bookshelf, and so I selected Perfect Chemistry by Simone Elkers, which this was on my second ever book haul on my channel. So I've had it for a while, a few years definitely. Um, so I'm glad that I have selected this book. So because I didn't get around to reading City of Fallen Angels by Cassandra Clare in July, I am pushing it forward to August. So this is the next book in the Immortal Instruments world, the Shadow Hunter world to be specific. So I do want to read this whole series before the latest book comes out in the Dark Artifices series. So I'm on this book and I would like to hopefully get this read in August. The book that I pulled out of my TBR jar of physical books was actually The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender by Lesa Walton and I actually chose this to go towards the challenge of cover by because I remember actually buying this so that's why I put this book towards the challenge as well but believe it or not first I pulled this book out of the TBR jar for my physical books and then I thought oh this will go perfect towards the cover by challenge. Out of my ebook TBR jar I pulled out Alice in Zombieland by Gina Sherwater. I do have a physical book of this but it's in a box that's still at my nan's at the moment so I'll just place a picture over here. So it's interesting that this book has come out because I've had this book for a while as well. As of my archived ebook reviews that I haven't got around to reading because of time and then they get released and sort of thing. So I have a specific jar for my ebooks that I don't get around to reading. And the book that actually came out was The Accent Season by Maura Fowley Doyle, which I do own a physical copy of. And I sometimes do a thing where if I don't get around to reading the ebook that I have for review, I purchase it as a physical book as a way of supporting the publisher and the author. And so I'm uh, glad this, so it would be good to get this finally read because I just, yeah, haven't got my room to read it. Next of all, I've got a couple of books that I would like to read during the month of August. The first of which is Colin Hoover's latest book release, which is All Your Perfects. And this was my pre-order that came in July, so I would like to read this in August. And the next of which is going to be Final Girls by Riley Sager. If you're watching Laura, hi! I'm putting this on the TBR so hopefully I can get around to reading it. I love it, the fact that this is like black edges, so... So yeah, um, yeah, I'm really happy that I have this and I remember purchasing this from Waterstones and I think I actually remember getting it nearly free because I had a £10 money off thing and then money off my Waterstones card so I think I actually only had to pay like 10p for this book, it was like the cheapest book I've ever bought I think of a new release. So it's on my TBR Laura, I'm going to read it. 
two rereads that I've put on this month's TBR is Wicked by Jennifer L. Armitra. I would like to reread this so that I could read the second book. I want to continue on with this series. And the other book is To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han because the Netflix movie is coming out for this one. So I would like to give this book a reread. So next of all, I'm going to unwrap a book because um, I'm wrapping a book now in every team year video, so I've got one for each month for the rest of the year. So I've got six, five, four, two, and one because we unwrapped number three last month. So I've got my little spinning wheel out here. I had to put six because we've still got it up to number six. So I'm going to spin the wheel now and see what number it lands on, and then I'll unwrap it live in this video for you guys. So let's spin it. Let's hope it doesn't land on number three. Oh look, just about on number two. So that's very, very handy. Two on the blue. So, number two is this one right here. So I'm gonna put those other ones back for the other ones. I'm gonna unwrap number two. I don't know the best way to unwrap this because I'm not very good with my unwrapping skills. Uh, remember what books I wrapped up now. Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> okay, I've just unwrapped The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater. I remember starting this and I got really intrigued but then I didn't continue. So this would be really, really good. See look, I've still got my bookmark in where I got before, page 62. But I'm going to have to start from the beginning again. Well, I'm really happy that this was a book that I unwrapped actually because I'm actually in the mood to give this a read so that is my unwrapped book for this month. I'm going to mention Isla and the Happily Ever After by Stephanie Perkins again because this is a book that is on my books to read before I'm 30 list so I just wanted to mention that again that I'm going to be selecting this book this month from my list of books to read before I'm 30. And also on my 18 books to read in 2018 list is Queens of Geek by Jen Wilde. So I just want to mention this book again that I am using this book from that list for this month. The book that I am reading from my first book haul is Uglies by Scott Westerfeld. I was looking at the list of all the books that was in that video and this is the one that I leaned towards. So I'm putting that on my August TV as well so hopefully I can get around to reading this. And the book from my second book haul video that I shared with you guys is Perfect Chemistry by Simone Alcalos so I'm also going to mention this book from the second book haul. From my adult TBR jar, I got Billy and Me by Giovanna Fletcher, so it would be good to get this read. This is a chick lit novel and I am very excited to get around to reading this because I've heard really good things about it. And from my physical review TBR jar, from you know physical review books that I don't get around to reading, I pulled out Seed by Lisa Heathfield. As you can see, it's my ARC edition. It's one where I got like signed and personalised when I actually met Lisa because this was her debut novel and I've heard really good things about this book and I feel really bad that I actually haven't got around to reading this book yet but I'm so glad that it actually came out because I'm very very intrigued and it's almost like it's a sign that I need to get it read. I'm just going to very, very quickly whiz through the other books I've put towards challenges that I haven't got around to reading. So I've actually swapped a challenge with the Accent Season Queens of Geek. Queens of Geek did have the challenge of a book that you can read in a day, but I put it towards a challenge for this month. So this will now go towards um, a challenge um, to read a book in a day and then Queen's of Geek has got the mental illness challenge. I then got to read a book with a blue cover on the spine which goes towards Love and Gelato by Jenna Evans Welch and then to read a classic which is The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitch Gerald and then this one is to read an adult mystery thriller which is You by Caroline Kepnes then I have got an old review book and this was also pulled out of a monthly recommendations jar but this is Mafiosa by Catherine Dewey and then I've got a book about death or grief and I've got Suicide Club by Rachel Hay. 
and then I've got Good and Gone by Megan Fraser Blakemore which go towards the challenge to read a standalone and then I've got The Moment of Letting Go by J.A. Redmesky which goes towards the challenge of a book from an author you love and haven't read yet and then I've got Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowe which goes towards the challenge of a banned book the Hate You Give by Angie Thomas, which goes towards the challenge of a book that's won a Goodreads award. 100 Sideways Miles, which goes towards the challenge of a funny book. 6-4 by Hideo Yokoyama, which goes towards the challenge of a book by an author of a different ethnicity to me. And it's very, very big and bulky. And then I've got a book with 500 or more pages, which I put Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. And then I've got Stalking Jap the Ripper, which goes towards the challenge of a book that's recommended to me. And this was also another book that I pulled out of my monthly recommendations jar. And then the unwrapped book from last month, and this also goes towards the challenge to read a dystopian or fantasy book. So there's that one. And last but not least, Allegiant by Veronica Roth, which goes towards the challenge of finishing a series or trilogy. So those are like X challenges because I'm very very bad at completing my challenges as you can see I haven't done it very well so far but you know I've got a, an interesting selection of books to choose from obviously the X challenges won't be so much I'm only going to be focusing on the books that I said prior to this massive list so I'll be reading those first and then I can pick and choose from the X challenges list. So yeah, I've got a interesting selection of books here to choose from and I'm really excited about all the books that I've put on my TBR and the books that I've pulled out of my TBR as well. So I'm very, very interested to see how I'm going to feel about these books, especially after the book shoot them. So I'm going to go now because I need to start getting my reading done for the book tubeathon as it's day number one now and I'm going to get, get some lunch because it's half past twelve in the afternoon. So that's it for my August TBR. If you have read any of these books I have mentioned in today's video, let me know what you thought about them. Let me know what you guys are reading for the month of August as well and if you guys are participating in the book tubeathon. But I hope you are going to have an absolutely fantastic day wherever you are. If you are new to my channel, if you like what you see, then please feel free to subscribe. And if you don't want to miss a video, then you can hit the bell notification icon below the video. But all in all, guys, thank you very much for watching my videos. As always, keep smiling, keep reading, and be happy. My name is Katie, and I'll see all of you wonderful, awesome people in my next video. Bye!